Picture this, you're stressed out, tired all the time, and then you discover this ancient samurai technique that totally changes your life. This is what happened to me. In this video, I'll share my journey and how the wisdom of the samurai saved my life and can help you handle modern day problems. We'll look at how you can easily use these techniques, the amazing results you can expect, and the exact samurai method that made all the difference. So, the first technique I want to share is called Zanshin. It's all about staying alert and being fully present in the moment. The samurai use Zanshin to keep their minds sharp and ready for anything. This can help with brain fog, anxiety, insomnia, and fatigue by making your mind clearer, reducing stress, and boosting focus. Zanshin isn't just about being present, it's a state of heightened awareness and readiness. The samurai believed that having a vigilant mind could mean the difference between life and death. Today, it's about being acutely aware of your surroundings and actions, allowing you to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. This mindfulness can transform your daily life by fostering a deeper connection with your experiences and helping you stay grounded amidst chaos. To start practicing Zanshin, try some mindful breathing. Spend a few minutes each day focusing on your breath. Sit quietly, breathe slowly, and concentrate on the feeling of air moving in and out of your body. It can really calm your mind. Another way to practice Zanshin is to be mindful during activities. Whatever you're doing, try to pay full attention. Notice the taste of your food, the feeling of your feet hitting the ground when you walk, or the sounds around you. Nowadays, with social media, we're on autopilot so often. This can help set our minds straight. Also, reducing distractions is key. Create a space where you can focus. Turn off unnecessary notifications. Set specific times to check your phone or email and keep your workspace tidy. For example, I only work on my YouTube channel in my office and I only read in my reading room. Having specific locations for specific activities really helps. At work, I used to feel overwhelmed by all the tasks I had to do. By practicing Zanshin, I started dedicating specific times for focused work without interruptions. I worked on one thing at a time and gave it my full attention. This not only improved my work, but also made my day less stressful and more enjoyable. And now that we've seen how Zanshin can help us stay present and focused like the samurai, let's move on to another powerful technique called Hansei. Hansei is a deep-rooted practice of self-reflection and introspection. The samurai would review their actions and decisions daily, considering both successes and failures. This practice was essential for personal development and mastery. In modern terms, Hansei is about taking a step back to analyze your day-to-day -day life, identifying areas of improvement, and setting concrete steps to enhance your skills and mindset. It's a continuous journey of self-betterment, driving you to be the best version of yourself. To start practicing Hansei, dedicate time each day, preferably in the evening, to reflect on your thoughts, actions, and goals. Think about what went well and what didn't. Write down your reflections. This helps you process your thoughts and see them more clearly. Use a notebook or a digital journal to keep track of your reflections and insights. After reflecting, plan one small change you can make the next day to enhance your mental clarity. This could be adjusting your schedule, changing a habit, or trying a new approach to a problem. For example, I realized through Hansei that I often felt mentally exhausted by midday. By reflecting on my daily routine, I found that skipping breakfast was affecting my energy levels. I made a small change to eat fewer carbs at breakfast, take a cold shower right after waking up, get some sun as per Dr. Huberman's recommendation, and avoid coffee for the first two hours. It made a huge difference. It's about the small changes and how real you're with yourself when analyzing these things. And now that we've checked out Hansei, let's move on to another powerful samurai technique called Fudoshin. Fudoshin represents a state of unwavering mental stability and emotional strength. The samurai cultivated this mindset to stay calm and decisive during battle, ensuring their actions were not clouded by fear or doubt. In our daily lives, Practicing Fudoshin can help us handle stress and adversity with a clear, focused mind. It's about training yourself to remain composed and collected, allowing you to navigate challenges with grace and confidence. To practice Fudoshin, spend a few minutes each day practicing deep, controlled breathing to calm your mind. There are two types of breathing, 
one for alertness and one for calmness. Here, we want to be alert. I use the Wim Hof breathing technique, which makes you feel very alert yet calm at the same time. It's perfect for tackling stress before interviews or any high pressure situation. Whenever I had to do a small interview and was really stressed, I practiced this technique for about five minutes beforehand. Made me super focused and calm, almost like a weird yet effective form of calm alertness. And now with Fudoshin under our belts, let's move to the next technique. Keiko, meaning practice or training, is all about regular physical activity to maintain peak condition. The samurai engaged in constant physical training to stay strong and agile. In modern times, regular exercise can boost energy levels, improve mental clarity, and combat fatigue. So most likely, whenever you envision a samurai, it's not someone chilling on his sofa, not doing anything. To start practicing keiko, choose an activity you enjoy. It could be brisk walking, yoga, martial arts, or a gym workout. I personally enjoy boxing and weightlifting. While doing them, I feel like I'm meditating, just me with my thoughts. Consistency is key to reaping the benefits. If you can do it daily, even better. Pay attention to how physical activity makes you feel both physically and mentally. Notice the boost in energy and clarity. Give it at least seven days because if you just do it for three days, you won't see much effect. After a week, you probably wouldn't want to give it up. I've already done this consistently for the past nine years. For example, I never missed a week of heavy training, so I have the proof to back it up. And again, I use my smartwatch to keep track of everything so I get instant feedback. It's crazy. Whenever I don't train hard enough for the day, my stress levels go up and my recovery is worse. It's a crazy paradox. If you want your mind to function and remove the problems that are caused in the mind, a bunch of times, these could be fixed by your body, not the mind. So make sure you test this out. For me, this was the most important technique and the anchor to my life. Whenever I feel off and look at why I feel off, nine out of 10 times, it's because I neglected the physical part. So these techniques are amazing, right? But it's really important to reflect on your progress and integrate these practices into your daily life. Reflection helps you see what's working and what's not so you can make adjustments. For me, journaling every night helped a lot. I'd write down what I did, how I felt, and what I could do better the next day. It's like having a mini coaching session with yourself every evening. And whenever I talk to myself, I talk to a different person that is truly objective to everything. If I say that I gave 100% in that day, the voice instantly tells me that I'm bullshitting. Integration is about making these practices a regular part of your life. Start small and build up. Maybe begin with mindful breathing for a few minutes each day. Then add in some physical training and gradually include reflection. Over time, these will become habits that support your mental and physical health. Now, after integrating these samurai techniques into your daily routine, it's important to keep refining and enhancing them. This means being mindful of how you're doing each practice and making small adjustments to get even better results. For instance, with Zanshin, you might start with a few minutes of mindful breathing each day, but over time, you can increase this to 10 or 15 minutes and try more advanced techniques. For Hansei, your reflections might begin with basic thoughts about your day. But as you grow, you can dive deeper into your emotional and mental patterns understanding what truly drives you and what holds you back. The key here is to remain curious and always look for ways to improve. With Fudoshin, start by practicing deep breathing to stay calm under pressure. As you get better, you can incorporate more challenging situations to test and build your resilience. And for Keiko, while starting with an activity you enjoy is great, eventually push your boundaries a bit. Try new exercises, increase your workout intensity, or set new physical goals. This not only keeps your body fit, but also keeps your mind engaged and excited about your physical routine. The more you practice and grow with these techniques, the more benefits you'll see. And remember, it's a journey. Some days will be harder than others, but consistency is what makes the difference. As you continue, you'll find that these practices adapt to your life and needs, helping you stay balanced, focused, 
and strong. And if you want to learn even more about samurai philosophy and more about the greatest samurai of all time, Miyamoto Musashi, make sure you check out these other videos and also don't forget to subscribe.